What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. I'm joined with Coach Mark. I'm joined with Coach Jimmy. And today we're going to be going over the best tips, the best secret sauce for success, but most importantly, the best support for you in terms of your fat loss journey. We know a lot of guys out there that have been asking all about, you know, hey, what is Heartletics all about? They see all these successful transformations and they're kind of wondering from the outside looking in, man. Like, what is it all about? Like, what really makes you guys successful? You know, we're going to kind of go over some different things that have also worked for Coach Mark, what has worked for Coach Jimmy. Uh, these guys both had an amazing success story, but also give you kind of, kind of guys like a behind the scenes. And so I highly recommend if you're listening to this on Spotify or maybe, you know, iTunes, dive into the Heartletics YouTube channel as well. Uh, that way you guys can see the PowerPoint presentation that we have. It's really inspiring what we have planned out for today's episode. And hey, while you're there, make sure to subscribe and turn on the little bell notification while you're at my YouTube channel, simply because I'm constantly posting new videos. In fact, multiple videos uh, every single day. And that's the mission is to provide value, to give you guys support and motivation to help you guys from start to finish in terms of your health to fitness goals. Now, let's kind of dive in as far as like success goes, right? Uh, Coach Mark, let's talk with you, man. Why don't you give somebody, you know, go all the way back, right? Throw back all the way, right? As far as to, you know, what you tried before in the past, um, what led you to Heartletics and then some of your success. And then Jimmy will go to you and then we'll kind of dive into the PowerPoint that I have planned. Yeah. I mean, I kind of had, you know, the yo-yo effect of uh, everything that I tried in the past where I would try things, lose weight, and then put it back on, try something else, you know, and that went from things like Nutrisystem and Jenny Craig, you know, with the prepackaged food that didn't teach you anything to, things like uh, Weight Watchers, uh, Nutrisystem, which I was doing prior to finding Heartletics, where I was starving myself and seeing no progress at all. So I was just frustrated with, you know, lack of energy, uh, lack of really, you know, motivation as far as, you know, doing the things that I enjoy in life. I just was feeling a little down on myself. Um, and I reached out to you after kind of following your videos for a while and your your uh, messages and seeing what I thought was something that seemed more sustainable, more valuable and more all inclusive, right? It was, a, it was approaching the mindset, the weight loss and the fitness, you know, the, the diet and the uh, fitness aspect all in one place. And I mentioned it to my wife and she actually said, you know, does he do couples? And sure enough, reached out to you. Of course he did. And we had an amazing transformation where, uh, you know, in the first 12 weeks, I lost 37 pounds. To date, I've lost over 90. Jen lost, I think it was 23 or 24 pounds in that first 12 weeks. It continues to do great. So it's just been a really sustainable, successful process that turned my life around. And, you know, one of the things involved in that process that really made it successful uh, was the Heartletics community group. Um, I felt really welcome there from day one. Uh, it was just a ton of support and community that kept me going when I needed it and kept me fired up and really was a helpful part of the process. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be diving all into the community group here in a second. Um, Coach Jimmy, why don't you kind of share a little bit about your story? Um, what have you tried doing before Heartletics? What led you to Heartletics? I know me and you, man, you were very skeptical at first, you know, thought I was a robot when I was texting you and me and you actually got into a, a little heated conversation before scheduling a free assessment call with me to kind of go in over everything. Why don't you kind of share with the listeners a little bit about that? <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Well, you know, I was 430 pounds before um, I joined Heartletics and I struggled with weight most of, most of my, pretty much my whole life, uh, even from when I was a kid and, and things like that. And I just, always had um, a certain way of thinking when it came to weight loss uh, as far as calories in, calories out. You know, if I don't eat, I'll lose weight. So things I tried and had some small success with would be like Weight Watchers, uh, keto, intermittent fasting, low carb. Um, but the thing I probably did the most was the fasting. And, you know, I would lose a little bit of weight I would stop doing it, gain it all back, do it again. And then it just stopped working for me at all, really. Um, so 
you know, I kind of was at a loss at this point. Um, I was looking for something different. Uh, I was on the cusp of maybe getting a weight loss surgery uh, that I didn't really want to do. But I stumbled upon Coach Joe. Um, I saw an ad. Uh, it intrigued me. Uh, I joined the Facebook group, um, started watching his videos. Uh, and then I started getting some messages uh, from Coach Joe, text messages, um, which I didn't really think was him. I thought it was just, you know, part of the system or some robot <laughs> text me and uh, yeah, yeah, what's up, whatever. And he's back and forth. And then he asked me a few questions to where I'm like, is this, is this, I'm like, is this really you? Like, who? he's like, yeah, it's me. And he sent me over a picture of him flexing. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy. And then we went on and uh, yada, yada down. And he's like, sounds like you need some help. I'm like, yeah, I definitely do. And this sounds great, but I don't think I could afford a program like this. And then his response after that kind of is what set the tone, uh, I think, for my transformation, which was, listen, you can, <laughs> he said, you can be fat and lazy, you know, and broke and sitting there, or you can be healthy and broke something to that effect. I don't remember the exact, but it pissed me off at first. You know, I wanted to reach through the phone and grab him and say, yo, man, <laughs> who's this guy talking to me like that? But anyway, it's, I sat on it. I thought about it and, you know, he was right. He was right. And it kind of kicked me in the butt, got me going. And eventually I made, signed up for the call, made the call. I signed up. Um, I think through the process, what, made me most successful was obviously learning give, getting the knowledge I needed as far as how to you know I was 430 pounds I had fat guy taste buds I still have them but having the knowledge on how to be able to eat those foods the right way and fit them in and still be healthy um, I can't say how you know valuable that is but aside from that learning how to work out the right way the accountability from the coaches and and everything is is great and it keeps you going. But the thing that um, the number one thing for me that got me through it and still keeps me going is the community group. Um, I mean, when I first started, it's not something I even thought of or thought of being a part of. But when I got into Heartletics and I saw how the community was and how supportive they were, I just, you know, it's like being back on a football team again, man. I just sunk right in. You know, they're like family to me now. Um, whenever I'm having a bad time, like I'm going through some, I've been through a lot of personal things through this journey. You know, I've been through COVID. I've been through a shoulder injury, going through marital separation. And I have those guys to lean on me um, when I'm having a bad day and help me through it. And it's just invaluable. And I, I can't say enough how, how great it is and how much it has meant to me and my transformation. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's honestly guys, what we're going to be diving into, into this presentation. Um, it's really inspiring to see. And we always say like this about the community group. Um, I'll, I'll use two, two quick analogies, right? Real quick before we dive in. Uh, you know, the first one is going off to war. Nobody wants to go off to war all by themselves, right? With a small little pistol. Uh, <laughs> you're not really going to be successful. And probably the main reason why 98% of the guys out there fail at reaching their health and fitness goals long-term is because when times get hard, which they do, that's life. That's the inevitable, you know, life's going to throw you curveballs. These are typically the times where guys, they strike out, you know, they go back to their old ways, they throw in the white towel and they give up. And when you have that sense of community, when you have that sense of support, like what we bring to you at Heartletics, imagine going out to war and you got an army behind you. You got a military. You know, you're going to feel so much more confident, but also you got these brothers in arms. You know, Jimmy, you kind of talked about it like, you know, playing sports, you know, playing football. Like you want to have that team with you to support you. Another analogy that I've been using with guys just to really make sense of it, right? To make it fun and engaging is imagine you're in college, right? And your professor says like, hey, we're going to study this exam, study this test. Uh, we're going to have it on Friday. Well, hey, you can go home and study all by yourself, you know, and, you know, definitely have success, you know, but think about it like this. Imagine if, you know, a group of the guys in that college setting, in that classroom was all getting together, 
they're building relationships with each other. You know, somebody's bringing some donuts to the party, like having fun, going over different flashcards to where, hey, now when you take that test, one, you're probably going to feel a little bit more confident knowing that, hey, other people were able to help you out every step of the way. But also imagine that professor saying, guys, hey, it's just like, feel free to ask anybody questions during this exam. Well, if you're all by yourself, you know, it's going to be very tough because you don't have anybody to fall back to. But if you already build up these relationships with these individuals, and let's say during that test, you get stuck on a particular question, you can ask your buddy, you built up that relationship, you know, and you know, for a fact, they're going to be able to support you every step of the way. Now, why we're also making today's episode is to dive in and share with you guys behind the scenes some of the responses uh, that we've been seeing inside of our community group, which is really, really awesome to see. Um, so one of our newest members, Sal, you know, um, Coach Mark was kind of telling him about some different options. You know, at the end, the end of the day, Coach Mark told him straight up, like, hey, go to the community group, ask for support, ask for recommendations. What has some of the other guys, you know, said about their coaching program? Because everybody's all different as far as what they wanted to do and kind of exceed when it comes to their health and fitness journey with Heartletics. Sal made a post about, hey, uh, one of his sons is going off to college and just wants to kind of know as far as like what has other guys been doing when it comes to the investment process into our coaching program. And uh, I'll quickly do a screen share. And this is once again, why you guys want to make sure that you're diving in, watching this on YouTube and uh, are really kind of seeing some of these answers here. So let's hit play mode. Beautiful. Mark, Jimmy, can you guys see that? Okay. Yes. Cool. Awesome. So uh, let's kind of dive into this. Let me move this out of the way if I can. Oops. There we go. That's better. Okay. So let's start off with some of the responses that Sal has got. And I want you guys to see that, you know, having a community group that supports you, it does not mean just, hey, we're here talking about fat loss. We're here talking about, you know, protein powders and meal plans and, you know, different things like that, but it's everything, right? These guys come together, the, the brothers in arms, right? The wolf pack, as we like to call it, to really just help everybody in, in all areas. And Sal had a question. Hey guys, when it comes to, you know, the different packages that Heartletics has to offer, uh, what do you guys think? Like, what did you guys decide and what kind of made you guys prioritize your health enough to invest into it? And the first reply that we saw here was from Jason. I love Jason to death. Really, really good friends from start to finish. I mean, I've, I've just, you know, been attracted to this guy in terms of like, man, he just listens, you know, and everybody loves Jason because he always gives out so much value and support inside of the community group and really is always there to just learn. He's open-minded. And that's one of the biggest things for success inside of our coaching program. And, you know, his reply back to Sal was very simple. Like, hey, man, it's just like, you know, my health is worth it. And, you know, I have seven kiddos, I have a grandchild, everything like that. He's like, I decided to make the smart end of the decision and was just like, let me just put this on a credit card with 0% interest for the entire year. And you're like, think about it. Jason is constantly seeing the number on the skill go down. He's having more energy. He, he's having more confidence. He's learning also the knowledge of how to do this all on his own. And he doesn't even have to worry about anything for at least the next year because he decided to just put this all on a credit card. He knows that investing in his health is actually true wealth. And I love seeing that. Jimmy, you had yeah. several calls with Greg. Why don't you kind of talk a little bit about, you know, Greg's reply, which I love. <clears throat> yeah, Greg. I love Greg. It was. Um... Yeah, he he's a great guy. And, um, you know, he was skeptical at first joining he even you know questioned like wolf wolf pack what's the wolf pack that sounds kind of aggressive um but the internal workings of a wolf pack if you know what it is it's you know that's what we're talking about here but anyway greg got into the program and you know he really <clears throat> he really loved it and i think what his response here is is pretty much about how you know he needed um the knowledge for health and he needed the support and community to wrap his head around all that. <clears throat> and I think he also mentioned here about, think about, you know, the investment you'll make on medicine in the future. How much are you going to pay for that, for being unhealthy um, and the cost that you're going to occur over the, over the future years by not taking care of your health now. And if you look at it that way, you know, the investment, uh, is not as as expensive as as it looks right in front of you. Yeah, 
And that's also what Mike Berry said to me when we had our, you know, free assessment call, which was, Hey, I need to do this. It's costing me more staying the same than not investing into my health. And, um, you know, in seven weeks, Mike Berry was able to lower his A1C levels enough to actually reverse his type two diabetes and also get off all of his blood pressure and all of his medications for cholesterol and high triglycerides, which is really inspiring to see. And if you're somebody that's listening to this, wait until you see the end. We have some really good success stories with guys getting off their medication. So if you're somebody with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, stay tuned to the very end to get some really good tips on how to also improve on your health. Um, then we have also, you know, Coach Pratt, one of our mindset coaches, you know, playing up just telling Sal, like, hey, man, at the end of the day, I've tried dozens and dozens of different things, right, from personal trainers different programs, apps, equipment, et cetera, et cetera, wasting away thousands of dollars, right? And it's been just nothing more but just wasting time. You can always make your money back in life, but hey, you can't really make back your time. That's the most precious commodity out there. And he kind of shares with Sal about how, you know, he's 50 years old, you know, almost, and he's getting stronger. He's okay. getting wiser. He's improving on himself, not just physically, but also mentally as well, which is super important. And then we have one of the replies from Gary, who I absolutely love. Uh, Mark, do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, Gary's an awesome guy. I mean, early on in his program, he uh, went on vacation in sandals. Uh, you know, that was one of his kind of, uh, you know, concerns early on. We were able to support him, you know, as far as, uh, you know, workouts for the trip and, and suggestions for how to eat sustainably on the trip. And he's had great success. And he shared all that in the community as well. You know, it was always a lot of back and forth uh, there. Uh, he's, you know, been active on our Zoom calls that we have. So he saw that, you know, the support of, of the wolf pack like jimmy was talking about and you know he mentions you know similar to what some of the other people have said right you know at first the the cost you know caused him you know to take a double take but uh he's been through you know other programs miracle pills bad diets all that stuff and he realized that you know he wish he could take all the money back that he wasted on those useless programs and just go straight into heartletics which just works so you know his wife is thrilled uh, he's finding it sustainable and it's just uh you know something that is invaluable as far as that investment to learn how to sustainably live like this for the rest of your life. Absolutely. And then, uh, uh, you know, Eric, he's brand new. He literally just got started off. I think he's week number two into his coaching program and he's in the same boat as Sal. You know, he has two kids in college. You know, he's like, I just paid for my oldest, you know, daughter's wedding. Uh, so finding money is very tight, you know, and he said basically like I found a way um, and I was able to work with also Eric on just like a different note to say, okay, let's just get started. You know, maybe we're not investing into three phases or six phases, but Hey, what can we invest into? And, you know, I was really working with him financially to say, okay, uh, let's just get started with at least one coaching phase. And uh, that's what he decided to invest into, which is great. You know, doing a month to month option and just seeing where it goes from there. And uh, just knowing that, you know, he's already having success. He's already seen, you know, a tremendous amount of fat loss. But on top of that, mentally, right, mentally becoming one of the best versions of themselves. I love seeing that. I absolutely do. Jimmy, do you mind talking about Joe? Sure. Joe's awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> I can't say enough about Joe and what he means to, you know, to our group. But Joe's a guy who... <clears throat> came to Heartletics because he tried everything. I mean, look at it here. He said he tried <clears throat> military diets, whole 360s. He hired trainers um, to do 30-day programs, transformations, and didn't ha get any support once he left the building. He got meal plans through trainers, and it was just a, you know, a cookie-cutter program that he couldn't follow or sustain. <clears throat> and, you know, I think right before he joined Heartletics, he was on Nutrisystem, where you get meals, they give you meals to eat and they were, they were disgusting. He couldn't eat them. So he joined Heartletics and not only was he successful as far as, you know, gaining the knowledge to lose weight and have better nutrition, but he found a community and he, he dove right into the community. And it's, that was the biggest part of his transformation. Now he's one of the biggest contributors of our community. He's a Spartan. Yeah. Um, you know, I can't really say enough about Joe, but I just want to read the last couple lines he wrote here. If you guys look, so is it expensive money wise? Yes. But for me being a better person, becoming the best version of myself for me, my family, I don't think so. 
spent thousands of dollars over the years, nothing has compared to the impact that Harletics and this Wolfpack has had in me. So it's right there. Yeah, man. And uh, he posted also Sunday about, uh, you know, him losing. I think it was close to three pounds this week, which is great because we actually increased his calories, you know, and I know in the beginning, Jimmy, you kind of mentioned about, you know, thinking it's all calories in versus calories out. A lot of guys think that way, you know, and it's just like what happens when you get the knowledge of knowing how to properly eat for your body type and goals, you can have a tremendous amount of success. You know, we always like to use the phrase and I'm sure, you know, you've heard this before if you're listening in. You can give a man a fish and feed him for a day, or you can teach a man how to fish and feed him for the rest of his life. Um, and then we have my boy, Jeremy, Coach Jeremy in the house. I love his reply to Sal because uh, me and Jeremy actually way, way, way back, we actually had a, a assessment call, you know, and at that time, you know, Jeremy could not afford and invest into our coaching program. And I remember him telling me about like, you know, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. And sure enough, he came back. And I think he came back at the best time because when he came back, that's where we really start to switch gears from this being a just fat loss coaching program to help guys lose weight to being a coaching program to really help guys become leaders, leaders for their families, leaders for their friends, leaders for their communities. And, and in fact, Jeremy, man, I love this guy to death because he does everything for his family. And that means investing into himself for his family's sake. You know, when he got started off our coaching program, we were able to teach and work with him with his mindset to where now he's training his kids. He's working out with his kids. He's eating healthy with his kids. But the best part is, is he's saying affirmations with his kids. You know, he's learning how to raise his children up in a way positive manner than, you know, in today's society that you'll hear about on, you know, social media and all the negativity that you'll see on the news. Jimmy, do you mind also talking about this? Because one, you gave a great reply to Sal, but also you had your assessment call with Chris. And uh, for Chris to reply back to Sal in there, it's awesome. And and why don't you explain to everybody why it's awesome? Yeah, Chris is a great guy. <clears throat> and when I talked to him, you know, he was all about, you know, learning knowledge and trying something different on to achieve his health and fitness goals. But, you know, when I talked to him about the community and how integral it was in Heartletics and everything about that, he was like, yeah, I'm not really a community guy. I kind of just want to lose some weight, you know, and look better. Um, I'm like, OK, man, but, you know, it's a really important part. So he got into the group and I, th I think it was like maybe a week or two later, you know, I think the impact of the group and him just looking at it and reading it. He finally was like, I need to get involved in this. And we have a thing called Flex Fridays where we all post pictures of ourselves flexing. You know, it's kind of it's something where it's outside of your comfort zone. If you're somebody that's trying to lose weight and it gets you doing something and it's a great community thing. And here it is. I see I lo I'm looking through it and I see Chris flexing. I'm like, oh, my God, he's not a community guy. And since then, I mean, he has been unbelievable in the community and he'll tell you himself like he would he was wrong he didn't realize how great it was because of how supportive it is and how integral it is in a, a part of your transformation journey and now he's you know a really integral member of the wolf pack yeah and then what about your reply to sal yeah i just replied to sal because when i signed up you know i'm a bus driver i don't make much money and you know, I never thought, I always thought in my head, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do that, making sure my family is provided for and every doing stuff for everyone else comes first. You're last. You know, it doesn't matter what happens to me. I'll, you know, but if you, joining Heartletics makes you look at it a different way. If you aren't taking care of yourself and being healthy and doing the things you know, you need to do as a father, as far as giving time to your kids, being there for them, being interactive with them. You know, are you really making them a priority? It's just the way you think about it, because you're really not. You know, if you're unhealthy and, you know, your time on this earth is shortened because you weren't taking care of yourself. Is that fair to your kids? Were you showing being a good example for them? I don't I don't think so. 
So, you know, I found a way to uh, invest in the program. Coach Joe worked with me and, you know, my ROI has been off the charts, man, as far as my results, everything, everything about my life. So it's definitely worth the, you know, the struggle to find a way to pay for it. Yeah, man. Beautifully said. And uh, I, I love, you know, Coach Marion's reply also to Sal. Um, me and Marion go way, way, way back. I mean, it's funny, too, because I just remember literally, I mean, we're going on close to six years now, maybe. Yeah, around that time, just seeing this guy on Instagram and he was kind of, you know, posting his, you know, uh, workouts, posting, you know, flex photos and all this stuff. And uh, I just remember telling him, like, hey, man, can I just make you a meal plan? and just see where it goes and me and him just start connecting. And now like our wives are friends. Like it's, it's just great. You know, what could happen when you just build that relationship and connect with somebody on a, a personal note like that, just by reaching out. And uh, I love what he said about, you know, just, you know, you really got to prioritize this, you know, put it as a goal where you're focusing on 1% better every day, uh, really truly believing that you can become the best version of yourself. Um, and, you know, this is coming from somebody that definitely understands the financial part of it. I mean, look at this, you know, I have four kids, my wife's a stay at home mom. Um, so we make sacrifices to make it work. But at the end of the day, Marion knows that if he's going to have all the energy in the world to play with his four kids, to be there to support his wife, you know, because I'm sure she's dead tired by the time Marion gets home from work because she got done taking care of four kids. That's hard. <laughs> that is hard. But um, he really makes sure that he puts himself first. You know why? So that way it's just like, think about a battery. If you're constantly pouring out, pouring out, pouring out to others, draining, draining, draining your battery, but you're never recharging yourself. How much juice, how much power can you really be giving out to others? How much energy, right? Can you really be pouring out to others? And Marion understood that. And uh, he wants to make sure that he knew, Hey, I got to put myself first. So that way I can rise other people up, especially my family and, uh, and lead by example. And uh, Mark, would you mind sharing a little bit about, you know, Brian? I love Brian's response. Oh, Brian's man. amazing. Yeah, He's Brian's awesome. Guy. Um, Brian's approach to the community group actually reminded me of my own, where, uh, you know, right from the beginning, I kind of dove in and felt incredibly welcomed and, you know, kind of just, dove, you know, dove right in and got very involved. And Brian was like that, too. And from the beginning, uh, you know, he got the the reception, the feedback, and, and was able to kind of just really move quickly uh into uh seeing success because he dove in head first but you could see you know he you know he mentions you know money was a concern for him as well right you know everyone kind of does you know says that at first but he's uh lost over 40 pounds he's really and this is where you really see a huge difference in brian too is that stronger mindset you can really you know if you know him the way we do you really see how it's blossomed um you know, he found the right way to lose fat, et cetera. So, I mean, the, the point is, you know, he's tried everything like everyone else said, you know, P90, keto, uh, cabbage soup diet, you know, all those, all those fad diets that, you know, you sure you lose some weight because you're starving yourself and then it all comes right back. But, you know, he's learned that those inexpensive programs don't give you the long-term sustainable value and change your life the way athletics does. And, um, you know, and I think it's really important to note, right, you know, over here where he says, uh, I don't think you will find anyone who truly cares more for you than this team. Coach Joe could easily change, excuse me, charge a ton more money and provide less value, but he is just an amazing soul. So yeah. And, you know, having been a client before I was a uh, coach, a hundred percent true. Um, so yeah, Brian is an awesome guy and his experience with the Wolfpack really helped him develop. Yeah, for sure. And we, we kind of mentioned a little bit about, um, there we go. We kind of mentioned a little bit earlier about, you know, guys, I mean, honestly, we've had close to honestly close to 250 guys uh, since starting Heartletics get off their medications. And uh, we got like three of them that happened just this week, which is incredible. And I want to share with you guys some special videos here in a second. But this is just living proof. You know, I kind of mentioned that Mike Berry um, in seven weeks of coaching, he got off all of his blood pressure, cholesterol medications, reverses type two diabetes. Well, hey, we got some other ones to celebrate as well. You know, some special shout outs going out here to John Baker. Uh, you can see in here that he went to the doctors for a simple follow up um, and his doctor was super, super happy. All this test came back great and actually took him off his cholesterol medications and his blood pressure uh, medications. And he's no longer considered obese. And I absolutely love that. 
Um, Bill sent me over a private message on the app saying, hey, killer, you know, I just got my blood work back. And actually, you know, uh, my weight in just 16 weeks went from, you know, 224 pounds uh, to about 195. He said glucose went from 209 to 93 and his A1C levels went from 8.0 to 4.5. And I love what he said at the end, as far as thank you for giving me all the tools to save my life. I'm going to play his testimonial video here in a second. Um, and then we're going to go right into Gabe's Gabe actually, you know, told everybody, I'm um, kind of celebrating his wins for the week that, you know, Hey, I'm down about three pounds loss of, you know, uh, body fat percentage. Uh, but the best part is, you know, is understanding the different forms of stress, like getting hurt, you know, and how it could affect us and our bodies. Um, you know, he mentioned about the last two weeks, he gained some body fat, he gained some weight. And it's because he was dealing with the eye injury, something happened with him at work, but he's understanding the name of the game here that, you know, there's all these different curveballs that we like to say at Heartletics, it can be thrown as your way as simple things as injuries that can add a lot of stress and raise your cortisol levels, making it very hard for somebody to burn body fat. And I cannot wait to play his success story. So let me go ahead and play Bills first, and then we'll go right to Gabe's. Coach Jones, when I started my journey 16 weeks ago, I weighed 224 pounds, and I was classified a diabetic by my doctor. Now, 16 weeks later, I weighed in at 199 pounds. Body fat went down at least 4 percent points. My blood glucose went from 209 to 93, and my A1C went from 8.0 to 4.5. And I owe it all for the lessons that I've learned from Heartletics and the support of the whole family. Thank you, my brother. You saved my life. So awesome testimony from Bill that he sent over. And uh, let's listen to Gabe's next. Really inspiring to hear this. It's Gabe. Um, I'm a father, um, three kids, married, business owner, busy person. Um, I decided to join Heart Letters around Father's Day after getting a physical done with high blood pressure and all my numbers run in the wrong direction. I weighed about 200 pounds, 30% uh, body fat. It's been six months. I am now month 72, um, bouncing around 17, 16% body fat. And I have got my confidence back. I've got my energy back, my sex drive back, and uh, I'm not ashamed anymore. Uh, it's one of the best decisions I've made. Um, I joined because I know I needed mentors and coaches and a community to help me keep accountable and be around like-minded people. So if you're trying to make a decision to join Heart Legs, I hope this helps. And good luck. You can see his before and after right there. And um, uh, the reason why, once again, we wanted to make this episode was just to kind of share with you guys that, you know, we can definitely go over personalized meal plans and protein and, you know, the need, the non-exercise activity, thermogenesis, uh, you know, the strength training, all that stuff, but it doesn't matter. You know, when you have the support, that truly is the best fat loss tips, the best fat loss help, because at the end of the day, guys, this is life. Uh, life is going to throw you curveballs. Life is going to be hard at times. But when you have that support, when you have that community uh, to really be there for you 24 seven, it can really help you out, especially during the hard times. Um, if you're somebody that's been listening in and maybe you've been following through with Heartletics for a while, I highly encourage you guys to just set up a free assessment call uh, to just figure out a little bit more about your goals, where it is that you're trying to get to in terms of improvement and seeing if we can help you out. Um, real quick, Mark, Jimmy, why don't you just kind of share um, why should somebody set up a free assessment call? Mark, would you go first? Absolutely. You should set up that free assessment call because first of all, no matter what happens, you're going to get some value out of the call. You're going to learn something about yourself, about your goals, about some uh, tips to, to hit those goals. But then on top of that, you may just find that you're setting out on the best journey you've ever had, which is joining Heartletics, joining our community that you've seen such great examples of here and really setting out to become the absolute best version of yourself possible. So there's a no, it's, it's a no lose situation. Yeah. And Jimmy, what would you say? <clears throat> Listen, I know you're sitting there and you're saying you're still, you're skeptical, <clears throat> even after all of these transformations we showed you all this, you know, social proof we showed you, it's only natural to still be skeptical because you've tried a million things and they haven't worked. 
But the thing is, you've tried their things how many times and they didn't work. They failed. So why not give this a shot? You get a free assessment. You don't have anything to lose. I mean, it's changed our lives and it can change yours. I love that. And if you guys want to know exactly where to find that free assessment, you know, call at, just go to heartletics.com. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, there's obviously a link where right there at the bottom and, um, or you can just find us anywhere on social media, um, send us over a message. We would love to have that personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and just kind of learn a little bit more about your goals. You know, at the end of the day, uh, once again, we believe in teaching somebody how to fish. And so we want to teach you how to properly eat, how to properly train. And the best way possible is to learn a little bit more about your goals, where you are today, where you're trying to get to, and most importantly, just see if it's a good fit. So guys, I hope you guys got some value from today's podcast episode. And uh, as always, this has been Coach Joe, Coach Mark, Coach Jimmy with the Heartletics Podcast. We'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.